Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over how I set up my Pocket Master and the Chocolate Plus from MVave with their CubeSuite app in order to make the looper really easily accessible and easier to use. There will be a file down in the description for you to download that you can import into your MVave Chocolate Plus. What I'll do real quick is show you my screen. In case you want to just do this, you could be done with this by the time the video is done. But of course, if you want to import it, you can. In the center menu, pick Advanced Custom Mode, select the A button, and then you'll see CC number should be 60. And it's a single step for this one, and it will be a zero for the second data. On the B button, we're going to set up 62 for the CC and 127 for data two. Foot switch C will be 62 as well, but you see it's gonna have a couple of differences to it. It's going to have short step or long step, and we're gonna set 62 in bank A to zero, and then we're gonna go over to bank B, and we're gonna make that 64 zero. So that's a long press on the C button to clear it, short press to stop it. Don't forget to hit save after you do all of your entries into those those banks okay you can go over to the expression control and enter 66 and that will be the looper playback volume if you enter 0 to 100 it will do the full range if you just do like 50 to 100 it'll just bring it down a certain percentage i have it set 0 to 100 in the file just so you know you can go in and tweak that also e and f will allow you still which will be pressing a and b together or pressing C and D together will allow you to upcycle through all of your patches. So you can control the loop level, you can control the record level, you can do all sorts of different things in it, with the expression pedal. You can control the drum level just depending on what CC number you enter in there. Again, the default on the patch will be controlling the loop playback level. Just make sure you save everything. Really easy to do this, import it or set it up through the chocolate and make sure you export it if you use your chocolate for different things. I'm gonna turn the Bluetooth off on my phone. You'll see now that Bluetooth is blinking on my chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and power up the Pocket Master. Our next step is gonna to be to just go ahead and sync this thing through Bluetooth. So that is obviously very possible. Turn on the Bluetooth or connect to the chocolate via USB. Pressing the D button will bring us to the looper screen, and then pressing the A button will start our recording. Pressing the B button will begin playback. Pressing the A button again will overdub. B button will get us out of overdub. Quick press on C will stop it. Holding C is now going to erase it, and then we can use D to go back and forth. We can use E and F to go up and down through our patches. And as you can see, using a TRS expression pedal, I'm using the Sonic Cake flip volume, real big manly pedal. Uh, I'm controlling the loop playback. You can of course have it adjusting the record volume or the input volume into the looper. If you were to change the position from post to pre, then you could go into your effects after you grab a loop and start tweaking your patches and not even have to worry about playing along. And like I mentioned below in the description, there will be a link to a Google Drive folder that has all of the files I've created for the Chocolate Plus and the Pocket Master, and you'll be able to import them through your phone. So this one I could use my USB and just connect it right over to the Pocket Master via USB-C cable. Uh, since I have the first Chocolate Plus going via Bluetooth, so you could be turning on or off effects. If you like that, thumbs up, huh?
So I hope this is helpful for some of you guys that are using the Pocket Master and the Embave Chocolate Plus. Uh, you can set your chocolate up like this too. I don't think you can import the files that I've created onto the original chocolate. Um, I I'm not positive. Maybe somebody could test it. Either way, thank you guys for watching the video. Leave a thumbs up on your way out. And if you haven't subscribed and you've been checking out my videos, please consider subscribing. Make sure you grab your files down below. All right, you guys, thank you all for watching. I'll see you on the next one.